Hey guys, today's topic of the video is going to be about one of the most important metaphysical poet of English literature. But before starting, I will suggest you to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all my literature related videos. Also, the works of John Donne will be uploaded very soon. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Moving towards the introduction of John Donne, who was a very famous poet, lawyer and a scholar of 17th century and the time when he was born was a time of political and social unrest and it was a time when Catholics were the religious minorities. He was the poet. He is the poet come to our mind whenever he, we, we hear or speak about metaphysical poetry. He writes sonnets, love and religious poems, allergies, satires and sermons. The time period of John Donne is actually the transitional period between Elizabethan and Jacobian age. Moving towards the early life and literary life of John Donne, he was born on January 2nd, 1572 in London, England. John Donne was from a Catholic family. His father John was ironmonger and, and his mother Elizabeth Dunn was from Sir Thomas For Moore family. John Dunn has five siblings. In 1576, his father died and his mother married Dr. John Simonges. In 1577, his sister Elizabeth died. In 1578, his two other sister Catherine and Mary died. Early education for him was at at Hart Hall. He went to Oxford University for studies in 1584. In 1587, he went to Cambridge University. In 1589, he visited several European countries. His mother's second husband died and she married for the third time. In 1592, he joins Lincoln in college for law studies. In 1593, his his brother died. In 1592, he went to Spain with Earl of Essex. And in 1598, he went to the Azores. He also became secretary to Sir Thomas Egerton. In 1601, he became the member of parliament in Northam Northamptonshire. He also married Anne Moore in 1609 in secret and had 12 kids and 5 of them died. In 1602, he was, in, he was dismissed for, from the service um, as his secret marriage revealed. In uh, 1605, John Dunn traveled France and Italy in 1606. John Donne became a Protestant. In 1609, he published for the first time. In 1614, John became the, Parl the member of parliament in Somerset. In 1614, he was also appointed as priest in St. Paul Cathedral. In 1615, he was appointed as a royal chaplain. In 1617, he delivered his first sermon at St. Paul's Cross. In, his wife died when, while giving birth to, the, to their 12th baby. In 1619, he joined Viscount, uh, Viscount uh, Doncaster. In 1621, he was appointed as Dean of St. Paul's Cathedral. From 1603 to 1630, 1630, 1623 to 1630, he was seriously ill. On 31st March 1631, he died in London, England. Moving towards the important works of John Donne, in 1612, his pseudo martyr was published. In 1611, Ignatius, his conclave, and an anatomy of the world. The first anniversary was published. In 1612, the second anniversary 
of the progress of the soul was published in 1624 devotion upon emergent occasions published in 1631 death's dual poems was published in 1640 80 sermons was published in 1649 50 sermons were published in 1651 Essays in Divinity was published in and in 1652 Paradoxes Problems Essays and Characters Characters were published Moving towards some important themes in John Donne's work Death and After Death Love Religion Paradoxes Metaphysical Elements Faithful Women Moving towards the writing style of John Donne, he writes sonnets, elegies, love poetry, and religious poetry. His poetry is unique. Although he uses similes and other literary devices, his writing created a whole genre in poetry, which is called metaphysical poetry. He uses ingenious imagery, paradoxes, and conceits, which are unconventional metaphors in his poetry. His poetry is witty, intellectual, philosophical and bold. Thanks for watching. I hope you like or dislike the video. Also comment in the comment box for further inquiry and also subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Thank you.